is the inning. Back here in Boston, top of the second, and now it's William Contreras. Leading off with the Yankees, the catcher, William Contreras. A wind and a pitch. On the ground to first, boots it. But the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first out. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. The center fielder, Cedric Mullen. And first offering is fouled off. Calls it in for the out. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. First pitch doesn't find the zone. John Carlos Stanton, certainly a physical presence, and Chris, one of the more imposing guys at the plate in the entire sport. He's a force, and I think it's scary for pitchers thinking about making a mistake to him because you know you're not going to get that baseball back. He hits the ball so hard, you don't even have to watch him swing. You can just close your eyes and listen and know exactly who it is that hit the ball. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me go. right there, Boo. The last one wasn't even close. JD. Now it's J.D. Davis. In there, and it's 0-1. love how vocal the umpire is today no doubt in the hitter's mind catcher's mind and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call and a pitch that one misses and that is ball one Wang in a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. The bat, Corey the Seager bat. stepping in now for the Yankees. Corey. One for one with a single so far. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Stanton at second. Davis on at first with two down. Right hander kicks deals. Just off the inside edge. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Left hand batter waits. Out there to center. Snags it on the run. And the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Aloy Jimenez now. For the Red Sox. The designated hitter. Aloy. The pitch. Jimenez. Inside just missed. Swings through that one for strike one. And it is two and one. And another ball. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. 
So stepping in for Boston, Boston. Taylor Ward. The white field. Taylor. And that's in there for strike one. Check swing went around. Oh, a two down. The punch out there. Two gone now. Two outs. Base is empty. Bobas shut up to the dish. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Bobichette blasts one out, and they jump out front. It's one nothing. And with two down, the Red Sox. The early lead. Eric Cox now at the plate. Foul ball. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swings through that one for strike two. Here's the 0-2. Count is one and two. And a ball two evens the count. That one's on its way. No question about it, and that one will go. Eric Haas goes deep, and they add a run. It's 2-0. Base is empty with two away. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to hit. No left fielder. Garrett Cooper. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Sends it to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. New inning getting started. Aaron Judge at the plate. Leading off for the Yankees. Well, oh, after like putting up a nice inning 99. on offense, got some runs Aaron. across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Kick and deals. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Next one just misses. And a count, one and two. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. Aaron Judge leads the yard, and they're on the scoreboard. It's 2-1. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. And up next for New York, Anthony Rizzo. He's 0 for now 1. Batting, the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Little chopper rolls foul. Kicks and fires. Look out, 1 and 1. And strike two. And now before the one-two, time is called at home plate.
Pitch misses there, and the count is two and two. Next one off the plate inside. Full count now. That one lifted to left. Cooper moving under this one. Makes the grab one away. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. The left fielder, number eight. Nick Castellanos. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And it's even up. To the right side, and it goes just foul. Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss, two away. Two outs, base is now empty. Back. Brad Miller digs in Brad now. Miller. First pitch, and he just misses. Next one is off the plate. Now 2-0. Next one misses ball three. Well, he gave up the home run earlier in this inning, not pitching as aggressively here. There's a strike, three and one. Time asked for now ahead of the three one pitch. Liner snagged it first. Back here at Fedway as we go to the last of the third. Here's a speed threat. Miles Straw. Sandoval back to work. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. Corner infielders playing in. Owen oh, 2 as he waves at that one. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. On a line, base hit. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after no being down Number in the two. count, up against Second it with two strikes right there. That's Head about hurt. as textbook as it gets. Got a strike. Rudder takes off, ball misses. And safe. It's a stolen base. Rolled over to third. Davis gloves it. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Raphael Devers up to him. Devers. He swings and fouls one off. Up the middle, and it's through for a hit. Strong doesn't stop, heads for home. He'll score, it's 3-1. Picks himself up in RBI. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. He let it travel just enough. Here's Nolan Arenado. That one drilled left field. Banks off the wall. They add on as the run scores all the way from first. It's 
Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Anytime you smoke the ball off the wall, you kind of think yeah. about what it could have been. Be but obviously, you oh, have to be happy with that result. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. One out and a runner at second. Time called. Chance to collect himself down 0-2. To third. Throw on to Rizzo. And they take care of Jimenez for the out. Well, a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that the one. The right fielder. And now three. the right fielder, Taylor Ward. And first offering is fouled off. Runner leads away at second. And there's a foul ball. Way inside, gets out of the way. Arenado at second with two down. On the ground to third, Davis collects. Slings it across. That's the third out. Inning over. Start of the fourth. And now the catcher comes up to him. William Contreras. The catcher. Anything in particular stand out to you as far as moments at Fenway Park? Wow, you know, it's unfortunate because I remember as an Oakland A's player, we were up in the series against the Red Sox, two games to none. All we needed to do was close out a Saturday night ball game. We went extra innings. The Red Sox won that ball game. And then Sunday, they pushed the series by winning game four back to Oakland for game five. And unfortunately, they won game five as well. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Two two now. Swings here and blasts one left field, and it's off the wall. All over that one right there. That's a good sound coming off the, the bat, man. And as he connected out field. front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those oh. swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Now the batter now, Cedric Mullins. There's the strike. Runner at first with no outs here. That was 2003, and the Red Sox would eventually get their hearts broken by Aaron Boone, but end the curse a year later. The pitch. That one ran inside, almost got him. And now it's even up. Nobody out. Runner at first. He's going, he's and there going, he going. goes. Next offering is foul back. Comes the 2-2. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that's the first out. Up next for the Giancarlo game. Stanton at the, the plate. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. And he can't come up with it. But he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. Well, that was clearly a double play ball, but the bobble unfortunately prevented him from being able to get two. But a good job to stay with it and make sure you got at least one. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Singy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets... And that one ripped to left, just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. 
The run comes in to score from second, and it's now a two-run game. Close play, but in there. Back to the top of the lineup. So now it's Corey Seager, one for two. Your attention, please. Now picking for the Red Sox. Number 23, Justin Sheffield. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Two outs and one in scoring position. And it's 1 and 1. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. Good job of damage control right there. And welcome back. Bottom four. Now at the plate, Bo Bichette. Leading off. So, Bo, you went to college Not in this sure town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox in that sliding catch in the corner by Tom Verdansky. The Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs, but that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college and going to Fenway. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Next offering is foul back. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one gone. Here's the catcher, Eric Haas. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. And that one in the air center field. Mullins settles under this one. Makes the grab. Two up, two down. Garrett Cooper up next for the Red now Sox. No left fielder. It's important if he can go one, two, three here. Cooper. It would be a very positive sign for him and for his team. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. They say it went. Tosses the first, and that is that. Welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. Here is Aaron Judge. The, the right fielder, number 99, Aaron. The why to kick the pitch. Judge. And Judge spoils that one. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Behind 0-2, he steps out for time. And a swing and a miss. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Anthony the Rizzo bat. steps to the, the plate. Anthony Rizzo. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The 0 1. This one popped up. Arenado brings it in, and there's two away. Two outs, bases empty. So now the Yankees' cleanup hitter, Nick Castellanos. Castellanos. 
First offering misses badly for ball one. And there's the strike. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. In the air, out towards right center. Straw glides to his left. Got it. Really had to move for that catch. And that is that. Bottom of the inning. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Miles Straw. Leading off for the Red Cup. The center fielder, Miles. Looks like he wants the signs again. Quarter infielders playing in. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mat. The wind of the pitch. Out to short. Seeger handles to first. One up, one down. Here's Xander Bogarts. The second base. Bogarts, Xander. who wears that number two Bogarts. on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Foul ball there. Out to short. Seeger handles the chance. Fires across the diamond. Bogart's retired. And here is Devers. Up next to the left side. The first baseman. Raphael. Devers. Found back our way, and that's out of play. A defensive swing right there. Some cheese on the inside part of the plate. But the hands are still stinging after that one. one, and one. Ball one there. Next pitch is outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. That misses the zone. Three balls and a strike. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. He's going to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Two outs, runner at first. Nolan Arenado up next for the Red Sox. Jonathan Loisica into the game, and his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm. Coming out of the bullpen, we'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And that one is lifted in the air. Nice grab on the run. And that's the inning. In the Back here in Boston, top of the sixth inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, Brad Miller. The second baseman, Brad Miller.
Here comes a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Time call. The lefty to one oh. Ooh. The next pitch misses, and now three and zero. Oh. In for a strike. Now three and one. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Here's the Yankees catcher now, William Contreras. Your attention, please. Now, pitching for the Red Sox, number 18. You're up, Walter. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Swing and a miss. And a count, one and two. Time asked for at the plate, and he gets it. And he chases that one. One gone here. And now, now Cedric Mullins. Cedric Mullins. And first offering is fouled off. Right-handed reliever. 
And a foul ball. Miller leads off first with one away. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's his second strikeout. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Stanton, the guy capable of hitting it a long way. Oh, you can tell how comfortable he is. Look at that front foot on the line as he is close to the plate. But he can be very quick to a pitch that is down and in. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. He's got it. And that is out number three. Back in Boston. Well, we go bottom six. Now it's the DH. Aloy Jimenez. The, Red Sox. the designated hitter. Aloy. And he deals. He Swings and misses. It's 0-1. He's a guy that's changed his stance over time. It's been a little more open, straight up, and now more closed. One thing hitters will do, it's not so much about the stance, but it's what it does to the brain in terms of resetting and how they approach the pitcher. Rip to third. Tries to reach for it, but it's through. Now the it's the right fielder, fielder Taylor three. Ward. First pitch, not close. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Here's a 1 1. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. Loisica checks the runner. Jimenez back in standing. Next pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. And that one hammered way back there. High off the light tower and gone. A towering blast. Taylor Ward blasts one out. And they boost their lead. It's 6-2. And stepping in for Boston, Bo He's already homered in this game. In there, and it's on one can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Righty delivers. Hard hit, left side. Base hit. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. J.P. Fireeyes will take over here. Number 34, J.P. Fire. Now here is Eric Haas. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. You'll one. And fires in a fastball at 95. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he adjusts on this next pitch. Lifted in the air, out to left. Castellanos gets under it. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Garrett Cooper up next Garrett. for the Red Sox. Cooper. In there for strike one. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take. Gets ahead in the count. And the right hander deals. And now the count is even. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two.
The pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Miles Straw up next for the Red Sox. One for three. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. Next offering misses, and now 2 0. And the righty deals. The right hander gives up the two out walk. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. It's Xander Bogart's now. Two on, two outs. Out towards left center. Mullins makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, now it's J.D. Davis. The Yanks in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. That one hammered center field. That's going back. Back some more. Slams into the wall and hangs on. The Yankees looking to rally. Now batting. Shortstop. Corey Seager. Seager stands in with two away as he takes a ball. One down, base is empty. Going to count one and two. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Pitch misses inside. And that's ball two. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Ward drifts towards it. And puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. It's Aaron Judge now. Aaron Judge. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Next pitch is downstairs. Next pitch is popped up. And that'll do it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. And we're back here at Fenway Park at the play. Rafael Devers for the Red Sox. The first baseman, Rafael Devers. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. The next offering misses. And it's one and two. O2 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. 
Yeah. So here's Boston's cleanup hitter, Nolan Arenado. Nolan Arenado. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. On the ground to third. And a couple of quick outs. Two outs, bases empty. Aloy Jimenez, the next to hit. First pitch, and he has to get out of the way. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. And a pitch. So now one and two. I wouldn't say the game's close right now, but it's not out of reach either. I mean, these guys really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Back here at Fenway. And here's the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Right hater back to work. And ball one. Pitch misses there. And the count is 2 0. Oh. Left hand hitter waits. That one misses. 3 and 0. Oh. Next offering is fouled back. And the pitch. And that's ball four. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. And next for New York, Nick Castellanos for the fourth time tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Now, picking for the red is number 85, Louis Setsa. Next pitch has popped up. Bogarts in position. Puts it away for the out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath the it a little bit and popped it up. Second base. Brad Miller. Miller stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. All in one now. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Next pitch inside, two and one. Rizzo stands at first with one out. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch on the ground right side and it finds its way through for a hit quick throw back in lead runner holds it second with one gone well they call that an advantage now count for a reason you're so much more likely to get something you can handle just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield he just kind of rolled over on it a little bit but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock fought off foul runners at first and second with one gone
This to center field. Strong should have this one. He makes the grab, and there's two down. And now the center fielder, Cedric now Mullins. Batters. The center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Now a move Cedric being made for a pinch hitter, pinch hitter Yadiel Hernandez. Hernandez. Looking 29. for a big hit with two out Yadiel runners at first and second. Hernandez. Pinch hitting for New York. Number 29, Yadiel Hernandez. Bounced out to short. Bichette picks it up. They get the force. Out number three. Yeah. Who that in the whip? Back here at Fenway Park. Bottom of the eighth. And now the right fielder, Lead Taylor off. Ward. For the Red Sox. The right fielder, Taylor fire Eisen back to work got it started a little too early strike one the 0 one and it's found away And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 0 2. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's one down. Next to hit, no Bobashev. He's already homered Step here in this one. Pitch misses inside, and it's one to know. Bounce to third, and a base hit right there. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that out through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and. Didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Man at first with one gone, and now Eric Cox. Now MJ Melendez. New pitcher for the Yankees, Henesis Cabrera. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Number 92, Henesis Cabrera. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Puts a bunt down. Right side. Rizzo. They put the tag on him, and that's out number two. Garrett Cooper will hit next. Good now contact that. guy. Let's good defender. Garrett Cooper. That one fouled off. Man at second. Meanwhile, this pitch gets away. At the belt and fires. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creep it into my mind right now. That one the other way. And Aaron makes a nice grab out there. Back here at Fedway, we go to the ninth. Stepping in, Giancarlo Stanton. The designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now the Red Number 65, Giovanni Guy Hago. And before the pitch, he steps off.
And he deals. And that one missing low. Smash to the left side. Arenado to first. In time. One up, one down. J.D. Davis now, now at the plate. The third baseman. J.D. Davis. And the first offering is not close. Swing and a ball hammered left field. And it's off the wall. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. This was a really Nevada, nice swing. Didn't five. quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Now it's Corey Seager. That one ripped right center field. And it one hops the wall. He's in safely at second as a run scores. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Your attention, please. Now, picking for the red card. Number 74. Headley. Here comes Aaron Judge. Pitch misses inside. 1 and 0. Oh. Righty delivers. Out to short. Whips it to first. Now only one out remaining. And now the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Now batting the first baseman, Anthony And now he looks it back to second. First offering misses the mark. Kicks and deals. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Hard hit, right side. Sneaks through, base hit. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it the left hard left into the left outfield. Left. And yeah. even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And now, Nick Castellanos. And first offering is fouled off. Tying run at the plate. Strike two, Jansen. He's kind of a prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Electric stuff, that results in a ton of strikeouts in a tough spot like this. That is a big time benefit. 0-2 now. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Another solid outing from him out of the bullpen. He's up to double digits now with his 10th save of the season. 6-3 our final score. Kenley Jansen picking up the save for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. The final line score for our ballgame.